for joining me. This is my Best in Beauty video for the month of August. So my favorite things from the past month, makeup wise, I've got a hair thing as well to tell you about. But I'm gonna start off with makeup and I've just got so many favorites and most of them are drugstore, so that's cool. Speaking of which, this blush, which I'm wearing it now. Um, I was wearing this and a couple other products I'm gonna mention in a recent face of the day type post I did on my blog. I Instagrammed a picture and had a lot of questions, not only about eyes, but the blush and the lip color. And so a blush that I think is just outstanding. This is from actually Boots Number no. 7. So that's a line at Target stores, or I find it at my Target um, here in the States, and it's called Coral Flush. It's Natural Blush Tint Powder. So it's just a powder blush, and if you get up really, really close to it, you might be able to see a little sparkle, but honestly, I feel like when I put it on my cheeks, it's pretty matte. But it's just one of those shades that I think coordinates really well, whether you're doing a pink lip or a nude lip, or if you're doing, you know, maybe a bold eye and you still want that pretty healthy flush to your cheeks, you know, I think this is a great shade. And really nicely pigmented, very smooth, nice color payoff, and right along the same lines price-wise of other drugstore blushes. So I think this is great quality, and I kind of want to try some more shades of that. Also, a couple of newer products that just kind of snuck in on my favorites this year, um, or this month. It's the Sonia Kashuk lip products. Um, there are a couple that I've tried. One is this lipstick here and I believe I heard about this on Miss Crystal makeup's channel and this is what's it called specifically gosh the print is so darn small okay it's the shine Lux sheer lip color and the shade is sheer pink lust and this goes on actually is a really pretty like peachy nude shade I think it's just beautiful there's so much shine in this puppy I can't believe it's so smooth and moisturizing I think this would be great if you love those nudes that aren't necessarily a beige but have a little little more peach tone to them. It's gorgeous. And then the lip gloss, what kind of turned me on to this was I had done a swap. Actually, it's on my vlog channel with Melissa from Mel MPHS, and she had sent me a gloss that's kind of a plummy color, and she was like, you're gonna love these. This is great texture, great lip gloss, and I really did love it. And then I found another shade in the store, so, you know, it, it prompted me to look around at Target a little bit more, and this shade in the lip gloss is Fairest Flush. This is a really beautiful kind of new pink shade and I'm gonna put a little bit on top of what I've got on now on top of that lipstick and you're gonna see how opaque this gloss is um, these Sonia Kashuk glosses it's hard to talk about uh, and huh. these glosses kind of fascinate me because it's a thicker gloss but it's not sticky at all so it's got a really nice texture tons and tons of shine so like I said I really like the deeper shade Melissa gave me but I think the lighter one is great as well and you really don't have to you know layer on top of this lipstick I just wanted to show you the shade because this is so opaque it can definitely stand on its own and look just like this I tell you I'm really trying to wear a lot of the things I'm talking about in this video so you can see what it looks like and one of the things this was just mentioned in my Avon reviews but this Avon extra lasting shadow stick or it says eyeshadow pencil but it's just like one of those creamy jumbo shadow sticks and this shade is amethyst I think it's gorgeous and this is I have said it in my review but the closest thing to the Mally shadow sticks which I love that I found because it's twist up it's not too terribly wide um, the color is just beautiful hope with like a hint of purple in it I'm actually wearing that as a base um, I think it gave me even more shine on my lid. And just so long wearing totally smudge proof, I want to get more of these pencils as soon as possible. Now another eye favorite that I'm also wearing today, and this is just one of those things that's been in the drugstore for a while, and I'm like kicking myself that I hadn't bought it already. But um, I saw Kristen Game talking about her top, like uh, I think it was drugstore neutral palettes, and this was one of them. It's the Maybelline Quad in Designer Chocolates. And then I told her, I was like, I can't believe I haven't tried this one yet. And then like lickety split, she just sent me one. So I thought that was super sweet of her to do. But this quad is so great on so many levels. You've got like a pearly white shade. This is just kind of a nude. It goes on um, maybe with a satiny finish. This really pretty uh, rosy mauve color, just gorgeous. And then this matte brown. And I've been using this quad a lot lately and I just love the intensity you can really get out of it. I mean, I didn't throw in any other shadows with this look. And I think that this is a little star right here. 
this gorgeous rosy color. And then all the other shades really have a nice amount of, of pigmentation to them as well. So the way I used this today was I did the pearly white kind of around the inner corner. Like I said, I used this um, jumbo stick as a base for it all. Then I did a little bit of the rosy shade on the lid, faded it into the brown, did the brown in the outer corner, blended it inward into the crease a little bit. And then as sort of a transition or blending out type color, I brought in that rosy shade again right up here on the border and then use this lesser lesser shimmery nude shade as my highlight right under the brow. And I just took one of my swatched fingers and dabbed it right over my eye look. Oh, and then I took the dark brown on the outer corner of the lower lash line and continued inward with the, the mauve kind of shiny color. And I just love this. I love it so much. Thank you, Kristen, for bringing this up. I'm sure some of you at home are thinking, oh, I have that. That's great. I've just been getting into using my drugstore quads a lot more lately. And another one, ooh, I'm so excited to tell you about this one. This is the Color Riche um, Smoky Eyes Quad from L'Oreal. The shade is Love to Hate Me. You know, hate is gonna hate. And this is so freaking pretty. I think you'd probably know what drew me into this. You know, this really pretty blue. And then I got to looking at the palette in the store and I'm like, you know, I like that they threw in the brown as well because I think they can kind of anchor the look and make it a little more neutral if you want. Recently, I've actually tried quite a few of these different quads and they've been a little hit and miss. You know, some are not necessarily the most amazing quality, but this one I'm really just shocked by. Okay, will I ever learn not to swatch right there? Because <laughs> I gotta twist my Body, like halfway around, but there's that pretty blue. Um, the white shade, the shade that appears to be white, actually has a little bit of golden tone. Reminds me a bit of Max Nylon, but it's a little flaky. I'm gonna warn you on that one. It's a. I like to really pack it on and make sure I'm using some sort of base underneath. This is like the charcoal silver shade, and then a gorgeous um, matte brown. I've really been enjoying this, and I love how this blue. Um, you know, it's kind of a step up from being a deep dark navy. It's got some true blue color to it, so when you pop it, you know, kind of on the outer part of your lid or something, it shows up as the color that it is, and I think that's really impressive. So, nice little smoky eye quad there. I've got a couple of favorite tools to tell you about. One is from Sigma, and this is from, this came in that Performance Eyes kit, and it is the Blending E36 brush. And I've got to show you just a size comparison. This, as you can see, I've been using it. Um, this is the, I believe, the E25 brush here and see how much smaller this one is that I'm talking about here. I still like to use this one. I mean, I think it's great for crease colors. One of my favorite all-time brushes, probably. I've been but. discovering that a great use for this is for those, what I call blending shades, or some people call transition shades. You know, right up in here, when you've got your deepest shade in your crease, and you're sort of bringing up a little, a little bit of blended out color just above the eye. I think this brush, just as wispy and light as it is, is perfect for getting in there. So, for example, like today, when I use this quad, I go into this rosy color, get a little bit on my brush, and then, you know, take it right up in this area, and it just gives the softest amount of color. In the past, you know, I would use this brush for that, but now I'm getting into using that a little bit more, just getting shadow in the crease, because it's got more density, and this one, for its lightness, is just beautiful for getting those shadows worked into that area. So, whether you're using a shimmery shade, a matte shade, whatever that mid-tone shade is you're popping in there, this is a great brush for it. My other tool obsession for this month is this from Real Technique. It's the Lash Brow Groomer, mainly because of this metal lash comb. Life-changing. Absolutely changes my life because I've been using... Let me tell you what I've been using. Trying to comb through my lashes. Okay, you get a clumpy coat of mascara on and you need to, you know, get rid of some of the clumps. This is what I've been using before. This was from Coastal Sense. Not a bad product, but look at these thick, like, kind of bookends on each end of that comb. How is that really going to get in there to your lashes when these are too wide to really get in and separate? This comb, see how there's nothing on the ends of it? It's just a straight up comb. So that's going to really be able to get in there. And it has. It has just been great for getting through my lashes. It's great for, I go like this to get under the lower lashes as well, or like this to get through the top. And it's just perfection. It really gets in there. One tip though is that this fine comb will get clumped up with product pretty easily, so I pretty much clean it off after every time I use it. But 
not a problem. This has been a great product. I'm sure there are other brands that are putting out metal lash combs. I'm not saying this is the only one um, around, but I got this from Ulta. I've really been enjoying it. And then it has, you know, one of these brushes where after you do your brows, you can brush through them as well. Seems like I've been working kind of backwards today because now I'm going to talk about foundation. And um, I've been combining foundations quite a bit lately. My main combination has been my MAC Pro Longwear, which this is, unless I'm really self-tanning big time. This is a little dark for me, but I combine a little bit of the Tarte Maracuja Miracle foundation, and I tell you what, the combination of the two, not only does it create the best shade for me, but it also is like the perfect finish. I've been doing this so much um, in that picture on my blog and on my Instagram, you know, I was doing this with my foundation, and what it gives me is something that's really long wearing, but not a dry kind of flat finish on the face. This gives some glow. This has been a foundation I've recommended in the past for people who are dry but want a long wearing foundation because I feel like a lot of long wears are geared toward an oily skin person because they're trying to attack that oil. This actually is long wearing in itself but I feel like it's even more so when I pair it with something like this. I will also sometimes put this in with my Estee Lauder Double Wear or um, Revlon Color Stay. So this is a great little mixer foundation foundation. Today I am wearing it with the MAC and I'm just very pleased with the finish, the staying power. The way I mix them together is I just do like a pump of this and a pump of this just on my fingers and I rub them together, dot it everywhere, and buff it in with like a Sigma F80 brush. Goodness gracious, we're still going. This is from Gosh. Um, when I was in New York very briefly recently, I went to a Dwayne Reed and got to look at all the Gosh makeup and I'm not sure where else this line is sold. Um, I'm sure their website says, but it's a little bit pricier than a lot of drugstore makeup is, but uh, this is the multicolor blush. The shade is Pink Pie. Brace yourselves, this is gorgeous! Ah, so beautiful! If I blend my finger across, I get see this really pretty shimmery pink shade. That's like the combination of it all. And on the cheeks, that is so glowy and pretty. I've got to just do a little bit here for you. I like taking sometimes a lighter brush, dabbing it over all of it, tapping it off because a lot of color will come out, and then this pretty rosiness just takes over your cheeks. I love it. It's glowy. It's pretty. But these shades individually are so darn pigmented. They are beautiful like as eyeshadows. So let me get a few on here. Look at how lovely these are. So definitely a multi-purpose type product. This is just one of those things that the appearance of those colors together just made my brain say, want, <laughs> get it now. So my hair thing that I've been loving, I have been doing more wavy styles lately. I used my new um, bedhead bubble wand for this look. I'll have to do a video on, on that because I'm just loving the way the waves turn out. But I think that plus this product really enhances the way the waves look and just keeps them looking even shinier and more healthy, you know? And it's the got to be kinkier, <laughs> double curling power, gloss and define curl cream. And with judging by the directions, I think this may have been put out for like you naturally curly girls because it says apply a small amount to damp hair and work into curls, diffuse or blow dry as desired. But for me, I use this as kind of like a curl defining thing after my style is all done. So once I get done with taking the wand through my hair, I like to brush through it and get the curls, you know, a little more light, a little more air in there. And then I get just a pearl sized amount of this on my fingers, get it in my hands like this, flip my head over, start scrunching. I kind of work it into my roots a little bit for some extra volume there. And I just love the way it puts the shine back in my hair. Normally, you know, I expect my hair to be shiny when it's straight. I have naturally really straight hair. So now I love getting that shine even when it's wavy and it has a nice scent to it. And it's in a nice little pump too, so it's very easy to use there on your sink. Whew, did we go through some favorites there or what? Thank you so much for tuning in for these Best in Beauty videos, all my videos that you watch. I'm so grateful that you take time out of your day to sit down and watch a video of mine. It really means a lot. So I hope you had a wonderful summer. I'm excited as we head into fall for new makeup looks and new products. So thank you for watching and I'll see you again next time. Bye.